I am Anil Kumar and here is a very good test question for you. You need to sketch top, front and side view of this cubical structure. So we have set of cubes as arranged as you can see in this particular video. You can pause the video, look at it very carefully and then sketch the front view, top view and both the side views. I hope that will be a very interesting exercise. You can also sketch the back side view also. So let us talk about what these views may look like. The top view is something which you're looking from the top. So what you see is this kind of a structure, right? So you see one, two, three, four, five, six cubes arranged in a particular fashion. So that will be your top view. Front, you could think about this direction as your front view, right? So, so let me say this is your front view, okay? So that is front view for you. Right. So you could sketch a back view from here. So that could be your back view. And then the side views will be left and right. So that being your right view. Right. So we'll call this as the right view. And the left view will be from this side. Right. So that is your left view. So, so try to sketch these views and then look into my suggestion. Of course, you have to sketch the top view also, which comes from right there, right? So let's begin by sketching some of these. So let's start with the top view itself. So what you see is kind of a structure like this. So let me draw the top view here. Uh, and then, you know, we have these. So these are the three blocks, right? So these are the three blocks which I'm drawing. So that is the top view for this side. So let us say, these are the three blocks. Okay, so these three blocks and these three blocks I'm drawing on that side. So that is one, two, and three. Right? And we have now, if you see from the top, we have right one there also. So we'll sketch that one also here. So that becomes the top view. And in this view, you know what is missing. You have to show the depth. Now, you can pause the video and try to show the depth on this top view. Where do you think is the depth? So if you look here at this edge, there is a depth, right? So, so we can say there is a depth here, there is a depth here also. So, so we have depth along this side. So I'm making that as bold to indicate the depth, right? On these two sides also we have three different levels so that also steps wherever there are steps you need to show them as bold lines so these bold lines which I have indicated they indicate the depth which you can see from the top right so that becomes your top view now let's talk about the front view so that is the front view. So what you see here is three layers uh, three layers on the very first thing and horizontally also you see three layers, right? So what we can do here is we can draw like this. So this is the left side with these three one over the other and from here when you see one two and three so one two and three so that is how it looks like correct but we have to show the depth, right? So depth is, you can see here there is a depth and here also there is a depth. And so this depth will be indicated by making these two lines bold. So that is one bold line. And here also you see these steps from the front and these will be indicated by making them bold here, right? So, so that is how you're going to do it. And that completes our front view. Okay, now let's look at from the back side. So if you look from the back side, what do you see? You actually don't see any levels. So that is the difference from the front and the back side. You don't see any levels, right? So from the back side, it kind of looks similar uh, to this, uh, but there is a huge difference. And the difference here is what? Can you tell me? you do not see the levels, right? So from the back side, let's draw this first three, right? So let us say this is our three uh, layers, one over the other. Let's 
plane, correct? And this is also 3 there. So we have this 3. So let me draw like this. Okay. So that becomes our back side. Now, major difference from back and the front side is that there are no depths. So you can see these depths, right? These changes. But from the back side, there are no changes. So uh, we do not have any bold lines there. So that is why here it is kind of different from the first front end, right? Now let's look into the right and left sides now. So right side for us is this particular side. Now what do you see from this side? You see three blocks, two blocks and one block, correct? So, so you see three, two and one. So let me draw here three, two and one blocks. Let me just sketch from similar to this, right? But okay, so three, two. Okay, so, so let me just draw first, right? So when you see from here, you see three, these horizontally, that is those three, and this top three, but here you see two of them. So, so let me do two of them here, correct. So first part always is to make a simple sketch. And the second part for you is what? Indicate the depth or change in height. Okay, so this is our right side. Now in this particular case, can you tell me where are the changes in height or depth? So when you are looking at this side, first we have it here right at this level, correct? So so we have one here, correct? Here also it changes, so there also. So that is the height change. As far as the depth changes are there, there are two of them. So these are your two depth changes. Do you understand? So that makes the right view of this particular block. And now let us draw the left side. So left is from this side. As you can see, there are no changes in the height from that side, correct? It's kind of similar. You see 3, 2 and 1. So that is what you see from the left side, correct? So, so you see a block of 3, right? And then you see a block of 2. So let's say this is your block of 3 and then you see a block of 2, right? That is a block of 2 and then a block of 1, correct? So from the left side, that is what you see. Do you see any change in <coughs> level? So have a good look. So when you look from the left side, you do not see there are 3 straight, 2 straight, 1 straight. So there is no change in level, right? So, so as, as you can see here, from the left side, there are no changes in level. So that is how you see from the left side. This is a very good example. Try to go through this video once again and understand how we can actually sketch top, front and side view of the given cubic structure. It has a lot of variation in it and it will really help you to understand the concept. I realized that a portion was not visible and therefore I have added this part. Have a good look at the views which we have drawn and I hope that you have understood how we should draw the top view, the front view, left and right view and the back view and you also understand why we have these bold lines there. They indicate the change in depth, correct? So. Go through this video once again, practice drawing front, top, side views and then do some questions from your book. I'm Anil Kumar. You can subscribe to my videos and learn a lot. Thank you and all the best.